it's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? Excellent. I have high expectations for your command. That said, I've no doubt it will take everything we've got to pull a victory. Our opponents are mighty, that much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there, did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, no worries, we'll just join in now. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Well now, kind words from his kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, Princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. A good point, Claude. I apologize, that wasn't my intention. At any rate, let's vow to make this a productive battle, shall we? Oh? In that case, I won't hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. It is about time for the battle to begin. Our victory depends on your leadership. Do not let us down. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. I'll cut through. I'll give it my all. What should I do? None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, Aidy. Leave it to me. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy comes, stop them. Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. <laughs> Clearly not, or Her Highness would not ask me to watch your back. <laughs> I've long... Oh! 
Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Let's use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. dwells within? Your support is appreciated. Are you really going to fight two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of confidence. Victory is in sight, Black Eagles. Do not let up. is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. Dimitri, it's time. We can finally settle the question of who's stronger. Very well. I accept your challenge. With you as my opponent, I won't hold anything back. I would expect no less. Too slow! To retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Thank you. 
the son of House Iyer. How did I fail? I must need to train harder. I must keep aiming higher. with brilliant schemes I can handle, no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. You know there was a joke, right? Chase, not so much as a smile. Yeah! I'm not set. Uh, not. Ugh, I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. to serve his highness. Compliment me like that when my class won last year. <laughs> well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Blue Lion House. This victory is the result of everyone's hard work. Thank you, my friends. You did well. <laughs> Professor, I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both the victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Of course. After all, we fought hard out there. Such exertion is bound to make anyone hungry for respite. Don't you agree? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. 
Felix, you really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the Professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but you don't look too happy for someone who just won. You say that, but your eyes tell a different story. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. this nonsense! All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback, but now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey! This isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Get back here! Uh, damn you! Part One White Clouds Harp String Moon Familiar Scenery Thank you. 
In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Well, I didn't expect it would be easy on you. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. It seems I was right to worry. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Kindly do something for me.
Uh, hello. Um, if you'll excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Have we met? No. Sorry. Must be my imagination. Professor, are you settled in here at the monastery? Like fit? you on your stipendy Hey, oh, Professor, I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I don't. So do make it quick. Are you sure? Oh. Professor, but if you... Please. You know, reflect the other... Do you... You know who... Well, do you know about... There, I did. Hey there. Bridget, and you, Professor? Which do you find? Oh, I have a... <laughs> right. I've got a f How about you, Professor? Do you like... Ooh, say... That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget- By the time you're forgetting your own- I guess if you put it- Professor! That's enough. It's not- By the time- I guess if you put- I have a request. Just a, it is a no. Even with the sup. Do you have any? This prop. It's helpful. Profess students and teachers. Just if you're in. A student that said if you get to. I hear you've been. Sounds like. It is better if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. That reminds me.
Spencer. Felix, Sylvain, and I have known each other since we were children. His Highness as well. Though I should warn you that both Felix and Sylvain are a bit challenging at times. The moment I take my eyes off them, they're off causing all kinds of trouble. It's always been that way. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? I knew it! Hey there, Professor. You hear oh, that reminds me. Not really sure what it is. Hey, Professor. No? to have beaten such a shame. I've heard you. that mission is very... Anyway. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. This assignment is to take out some bandits? Did anyone tell Lady Rhea that people's lives are at stake? I lost my own brother to bandits. Is something someone has said at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, not my finest attempt at humor. I was thinking, the Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. There are many orders as a member of the church. Ugh. Let's see, that person sure does remind me of somebody. Oh. Do you need me for some? Hey, you. Hmm. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position. The Empire. The full explanation may be time consuming. All right, there's Bernard. Fine. What? I am more talented than anyone in. There is. Here's an idea. I hear the East in order. That is. Favor to ask. Right. <laughs> the cathedral. Oh, Professor. Me too. Actually. Inside the cathedral. Saint. Saints. Now that. You Inside the Saint. Saints. Now that. You I have something to ask of you. There's something else. It is the. Have you also come to offer your prayers to. You don't sound terribly sure. It would, it's a shame. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Bridget, word of advice. Thank you. 
<laughs> well done. You have my thanks. Even to go trip. I see. Thank you. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? Believers, I cannot. All the regions of Fodland. Oh, I. That's so. Uh... Swimming. It's how do you? Believe it. Right. You're a lifesaver. I enjoy cooking. You seem to know what you are doing. Ah. Give my compliments to the chef. This looks delicious. Let's eat. I appreciate any good meal. But nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. That looks appetizing.
Oh, this takes me back. I used to love this when I was a child. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. Singing's okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. I hope this song reaches the goddess's ears. Felix, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Time for our tactics lecture. You'll be there, won't you? Those things are such a waste of time. Nonsense. You're going to be there. Must I? Why is this such a chore? You went last time. Though you did all you could to disrupt things, as I recall. Brazenly rambling on about clear-cutting a nearby forest to secure a marching route and attacking an enemy base, stealing their horses. You were incredibly disruptive, and even rude. I was offering my honest opinion. Then, you left before we were finished. What do you suppose happened after that? I have no idea. Well, the conversation got quite lively. We all began breaking down the viability of your somewhat maniacal plan. And apparently, similar tactics have been used to turn the tides of historic battles. 
That may be an exaggeration. Successful armies must be able to handle unexpected situations. That starts with weapon mastery and creative tactics. If you didn't have so much battlefield experience, you wouldn't be capable of such unique strategies. Which is why we need people like you. People who think creatively to lead the army. Now you're just massaging my ego. When have you ever minded? We need you there. Just come on. If you don't yet know the proper procedure for lectures, I will tell you all that I know. Assuming that's agreeable to you, of course. Thank you. 
I must ask you. together. Okay, I'll help. We did well enough. That worked out well.